All right, folks, what we're showing here are a couple of timers that we have, at least limited numbers of. This is a uh, simple fuel cutoff timer, um, also known as a pinch off. And this is the slow open power um, three function timer. Uh, technically, you could make this four function, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So the first thing we want to explain is how this little guy works. So this is a Tommy toy, uh, as it's called, you know, one of the little wind-up toy mechanisms right here. And the escapement, or waggler as some people call it, has been modified to add this little rocker here, which slows down the rotation. So when you get this, the intent is that you should slide fuel tubing. This is not actual fuel tubing, so, but because mine's all out in the trailer. Um, but this little arm right here is going to come around and it's going to pinch off that fuel line. Now, your instinct when you get this is going to be, as I wind it this direction, that, okay, so it's unwound. So I should go up here and just crank it around one time. And if I stick my fuel line in here, that should come around and pinch my fuel line. That doesn't have a whole lot of pressure. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rotate that around more than that. So the first thing is we have this little stopper. Oops, sorry, out of frame. We have this little stopper that you press down here. That's your start switch. So before you load fuel line into this thing, oh, I need to go the right direction. You need to go around a couple of times like that. And now... Now when you put the fuel tubing in, if I can get it through, you release that stop arm, and this is going to come around, and it's going to apply at least more pressure than before. If you had the nice soft, um, uh, what is it, silicon fuel tubing, uh, this would pinch it off very nicely. But uh, the important thing is you've got this stop um, release uh, or trigger, launch trigger, uh, and you let that go at the moment that you're going to set this thing loose into the sky. So that's how that works. That's a single function pinch off timer. Now, this unit is a slow open power timer, so it has three functions. Um, two, the, the first two can be used for like fuel, uh, fuel cutoff and, um, uh, auto rudder, uh, VIT, whatever, and then this is your DT line. So the way this works is these two little guys engage this notch here. So let me pause this. I'm going to set my timer or camera up and then we'll come back. All right. So you want to turn this, sorry. I don't even have this going right here. We go. There we go. So you're gonna want to wind this up counterclockwise enough that it actually, you know, goes. So the way this is gonna work is I'll engage these two little guys. There we go. And there we go. So the way this should work is if I'm putting tension on these because you're going to have a fair amount of tension on them and I need to stop hitting things there's my release for say engine timer and we got another for boop and then because I only have it on the first rotation of my um, worm gear Bam, there goes my dethermalizer. So that's how that works. Now, if you'll notice, as I have wound this sucker up, there is nothing to stop it from rotating. So you need something to go back and hit this escapement right here or on this side to make it stop. I don't know how well that shows up. It's this little guy. There's a weight on this side and on this side, on this rocker arm. Now, there are a couple of ways you can set up that mechanism, being mindful of the fact that it is right above your functions. But the bottom line is I would drill a hole right through here and put a pin down there, or you can make 
one of these little engagement arms like what we have on this guy that comes through and has a wire that interferes with the waggler you're going to want some sort of wire that interferes with the waggler on this one same type of mechanism now here's the problem this does not have a forward release for your fuel pinch so you either on this arm right knee here need to have a your line come back hit a turnaround and go forward to your remote pinch off or you need to build a second one of the, or a third one of these that sits right up here or up here and releases forward not terribly difficult to do but it's something you just have to be mindful of so next I'm going to show you a couple of mechanisms like that this is a fuel pinch off system as shown on my top banana so this is a sealig timer sorry for all the other noise in the background from the other timer still unwinding because I don't have trigger on it because I'm selling that one but if I press the release on this this thing winds up and for some reason did not release that's not good I've been having issues here they're getting worse I guess so let's give it another shot I don't know what's going on with it this should pop up and release yeah, there you go I don't know why it was sticking I need to check this guy but the bottom line is you've also got your other functions back here um, that would release like I'm pulling on this one and Bloop. There is also one for the de-thermalizer arm up here. So, um, this does not use a traditional escapement. It uses a um, an air resistance vein that this guy comes down. This plunger, when it's held down, engages and prevents it from turning. Um, but the bottom line is, this is your fuel release mechanism in this case for a fuel pinch off so you can see how when i pull on this that releases this plunger um well it pulls back that plunger from pinching off this fuel tube the last way is what's called a fuel cutoff and this will also show you some of the other mechanisms so this is a very high performance aircraft uh, apologies for the deteriorated fuel tubing but you can still see that this is a line that is pinched off. So I've got two fuel lines that come in. Uh, one fuel line is going to come around the other side, and that's going to feed into my needle valve assembly. So that is fuel supply. I now have another nipple right here that this line all goes into right here. So there would be a T-fitting connecting these two lines to go over, connect up here, um, and down, well, sorry, this line has a T-fitting in it as it goes around here. And the top of the, uh, the T-fitting engages this line that comes around and goes right in here. This is a flood off line. It's designed to shut the engine down by flooding it with fuel, which can be kind of destructive, so you want to be careful what engines you use that with. Um, but it is is quite effective and unlike Cox TD engines you can safely do this but you have to set up a little piece of aluminum tubing that comes around and squirts into there but we'll show you how this works so this is a somewhat homemade timer well very homemade so my release arm and you're gonna have to watch closely because this is gonna release first and then all of these auto functions back here so the way this works is the first auto function is for full down elevator so it's going to release this guy to fly forward there's no tension on it so it won't fly forward at the moment but that's going to give me full down elevator and then these two secondary releases one releases the stab to go back up to glide and the other releases the auto rudder and i don't remember in what order because i've never flown this airplane but that's a separate issue as you can see I have never flown this airplane because I didn't build it. But when I release this, you can see pop, 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 and all done. And now the timer's off. Because this is not a dethermalizer unit. Dethermalizer is actuated off a tensioner on 
that line going to this guy. And this right here is used in ways I don't fully understand to uh, set the glide height for the horizontal stab. Actually, I do know what it, how it's done. Um, it's something to do with this adjustable mechanism. So line tension allows you to set what the glide incidence setting is. Rather complicated, but anyway, the point remains, this shows you some other ways to actuate one of these systems. So again, we have single function timer with a release. We have a slow open timer that you have to customize it a little bit as far as putting a uh, release action in there and figuring out whether you're going to use this first release line on a turnaround to uh, rele release your uh, to release your pinch off or flood off, or if you're going to put a second mechanism out front. And then, of course, we've shown how you would set up a pinch off flying forward or again off of a turnaround um, and then a full multifunction unit that actually makes use of the multifunctions um, of which this unit is fully capable if you wanted to do that you have enough here that you could release auto rudder uh, together with the stab coming back up to glide uh, if you mount a, a further unit um, or a further release going forward actually you wouldn't come on off of here because you want it to release before the notch gets to these guys. So anyway, hope that uh, helps you understand some ways to set up timers. Like I said, we have a limited supply of these on our website. Once they're gone, I may or may not restock them, but now you know about them.